हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ पेनपा प्लस आई नो इट्स बीन अ वाइल आई हैव बीन बिजी विथ वेबसाइट डेवलपमेंट एंड सम अदर पर्सनल वर्कस एंड यू कैन सी थ्रू इफ यू आर यूजिंग द वेबसाइट रेगुलरली यू कैन सी द चेंजेस रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑन इट इट कैन बी स्टाइलिस्टिक और there have been so many functional improvements and many new features you can check out uh, the change log what changes have been implemented through the information button in the top right and you can check out the change logs or you can also refer to the tool instruction which is the readme manual document of penpa to see what new functions have been added i'll probably not cover those things in this episode maybe i will have another episode with all these latest developments but for today i am going to talk about how you can create a kakuro puzzle in penpa plus the first thing as you load penpa page you know you land in setter mode i'm going to try uh, so there are two ways you can use square board and put kakuro clues from scratch or there is uh, the board type kakuro if you select and i'm going to have a small size so that it fits the window here i am trying to share new grid yes so you can see that the kakuro the template uh, automatically fills up the first row and first column now let's say if you want to additionally place more of this back squares in the center of the grid that feature is available in the shape if you select shape mode then special one and then kakuro so you can see in this panel you have these different options so the first one is what we are interested in so you simply select that and click anywhere you want and again if you click on the same cell it will remove it so once you have placed all the black cells uh, where you want to put your clues you can switch to number mode and then you can select this uh, corner which is this 3 uh, 4 6th option in the sub mode select this corner and you want the style color to be white so that it's visible on the black and then you need to switch border on uh, sorry not border that's it and then you select the place where you want to play uh, put the clue and start typing in so you can see uh, now the clues appear that's it so now with place all your clues you have set your problem and notice here that we are still in edit problem mode now let's now if you want to add answer checking so move to solution tab right and then use either number mode or sudoku doesn't matter make sure you are using either green blue or red color numbers while inputting your solution digits just put your solution just uh, i'm just placing it for sample here so once you place the solution in solution tab now you can set some uh, useful settings for the solvers it's like you can consider as pre setting so that the solver doesn't need to know all these different modes so i know that to solve kakuro all i need is uh, the sudoku mode so i'll go ahead and select sudoku mode and then i will also select this tab sudoku normal 
and corner and center what this will do is when you create your share url link to share with solvers penpa detects that you have selected these three tab settings and it restores only this mode and hides all other modes so the web the interface is much cleaner and you are kind of filtering the non related choices or your unwanted modes for your user make it enhancing the user experience so i went ahead selected sudoku mode to be my landing mode and then uh, tap selection sudoku then i go to share put your title your author name rules and then url with answer check here i know i want to check only the numbers so the second option and then click on generate url with answer check and then i am not going to shorten the url but that would be your next step i'm going to just open it to show how it looks so if i click open let's see so you can see we landed in sudoku mode and all other modes are now invisible and now and i can start placing numbers that's it it's that easy and to confirm my answer check works so i can just put the digits i solved and you can see the answer checking popped up one thing i want to additionally add here is if the solver wants access to some other modes for some reason for more flexibility of notations or any other reason they can simply go to settings and turn off the penpa light feature and you can see all the modes are now back and visible so that is what i wanted to cover today and yeah and please do like this video subscribe this channel if you want to stay tuned with latest update in penpa plus there are many more changes coming i can tell you till then take care stay safe bye guys